know about you guys, but I like to sleep. I'm Sophia for my great challenge, and I think I finally found the right pillow for me. It took me 20 years, but I found the right pillow. Check it out. Okay, so think about this for a second. How much money have you spent over the years in trying to find the right pillow for you? I know I have, and we're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars spent to find the right pillow. I don't sleep well, I have insomnia, I'm restless, I toss all night, back and forth like a pancake, it drives my husband crazy. <laughs> but I think he's used to it by now. He would, I mean, he ought to after 21 something years, uh, but let's face it, I am a very light sleeper and the majority of the time when I get out of bed, I don't feel rested. My neck is killing me, my shoulders are killing me, my torso is killing me, my legs are killing me, my back is killing me. It's not restful sleep not whatsoever. So I tried every pillow in the world. I tried down pillows. I tried down mixed with uh, foam. I tried um, polyester type fiber with fake down. I tried the pillow guy. I tried memory foam. <laughs> I tried fake down. I tried mixed memory foam with other stuff. I tried uh, what is it the bean pillows you know the one with the uh, uh the actual beans in it okay i try that or whatever grain they have in it like sandbags basically i tried that i tried japanese pillows i tried no pillow <laughs> i tried two pillows i tried sleeping slanted i tried them all i am not kidding i tried them all but i tell you what do you know when i had the best sleep of my life when i went to hotels what is it about hotels that they have just the right pillows and you are very very tempted taking the pillows with you aren't you <laughs> and actually one time we went to a hotel and i was uh, in um king of prussia by uh, valley forge and i actually asked them if i could take the pillow with me and they charged me 22 bucks that was a long time ago i have no idea what happened to this pillow but i tell you what i love that pillow it worked for me i slept well so i'm here to share with you a pillow that was sent to me by a company i was like okay fine i'll try it um and my intention was to either do a review if i liked it and no review at all if it didn't make any difference i have been sleeping on this pillow for over a month and i am sleeping very well <laughs> granted i'm tired <laughs> but i'm sleeping very well it is called the max z pillow right here and they're basically hotel pillows so they boast to be luxury hotel collection pillow this is what they say ultra soft breathable skin friendly hypoallergenic antibacterial and guaranteed for five years and yes they are washable so this is the um queen size pillow i'm going to show it to you and yes <laughs> i am using my son's uh, pillowcase because I need a pillowcase okay this is what the pillow looks like you see how fluffy this thing is I tell you what this pillow does not change shape like the way you see it is the way it's gonna be in the morning you know sometimes where well, most pillows what happens is that you get in there and they feel very good at the beginning and then you start switching position at night and maybe you have to bunch the pillow back in or you put your shoulder you know i'm i sleep in all positions i mentioned that i toss around a lot right my husband he just lies down closes his eyes that's it the way he goes to sleep is the way he wakes up i don't know how he does it this is very alien like to me i don't think it's natural but anyway i guess that's from his time in the navy uh because on cots you really can't move too much but anyway 
Uh, me, I toss around. I'm a uh, back sleeper, I'm a belly sleeper, I'm a side sleeper, I'm, I, I switch, okay? Sometimes I'm twisted, it's crazy. But anyway, in the morning, when I wake up, the pillow has not shifted position. It's exactly the same way. And it provides me all the neck and shoulder support that I need. I love this pillow. Get one. Okay, so when you receive it, and they send me two, the second one is going to go for Scott. Um, you get them in vacuum pack, all right? So what you got to do, and I'm going to do that here in front of you. So basically what you do when you get your pillow is that you're going to open it. And you see how from the vacuum pack, it's actually starting uh, to get a little bit bigger and it will really, really inflate. All right. You have to leave it, uh, you have to leave it alone for 24 hours before you can actually start sleeping on it. Because you see right now, if I compare both of them, this one was just open and this is what it looks like after it's been completely deflated so you gotta wait all right don't don't go rush because otherwise you're not gonna get the results um, that you expected and you can see that it's starting to really plump up the fabric is super super soft and again they say that the fabric is hypoallergenic and very soft on the skin I use pillow covers, you should all use pillow covers, so I'm not going to tell you um, go sleep directly on this, but it is washable, just saying. And it has gussets right here on the sides where the air comes out. So the advantage of that is that when you're going to uh, press your head on it, the extra air is going to come out of the uh, these little um, vents right here. But it's got enough fill and enough material inside. It's not going to lose its shape and it's not going to be completely flat by the time you're done with it. Um, if you like to fold the pillow under your shoulder, that might be a little bit too bulky, I'm just saying, you know. But you really don't need to do that because whether you sleep with your head this way or you turn, the positioning on your neck is just perfect. This is a great pillow and trust me, I've tr I said it before, I tried them all. So, a million dreams, they promise. Um, I don't know about that, I don't dream anymore. I'm so tired, I just pass out. Okay, uh, washing instructions, the machine washable, you do not iron, you do not bleach. Uh, cool, tumble dry, um, your pillow needs tender love and care, just like the rest of your bedding. These are great, Max Z. Now, this is what I did when I first received it and I opened it. This is the one that is still, um, you know, inflating, right? You can see it's still not all there. What I did was put it in the dryer on cool, uh, almost cold, and I let it tumble for about 10 minutes and it helped fluff it a little bit. But I still put it to the side and let it do its thing and then started using it uh, 24 hours later. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a great pillow. <laughs> this is a born none. This is a great pillow. This is the one that's gonna go to Scott. He's sleeping on a memory foam pillow right now. I don't know how he does it. Like, I feel like I have a goiter in those. Like, I'm like, you know, how did you like that? I'll do it again. <laughs> I'm like this on a memory foam pillow. And then you can't, it, it's just, I don't know, this, is definitely breathable I tell you what it's not hot I'm not sweaty I've tried pillows that had so much different um, plasticky type materials in them that I would wake up in the morning and my nape here was like all wet from sweat um, because the pillow was just not breathing at all and I would get really really hot I'm not going to say this one feels cool to the touch. It's not one of those pillows, but it's not super hot. Now, the feel 
is obviously a synthetic fiber but it's very densely packed and I've already washed the pillow once it didn't separate into clumps like very often what happens with one of those pillows with the synthetic fiber in it is that you wash them and dry them and then after a couple of those wash dry cycle your pillow not only loses its shape but the material kind of like makes those little clumps in there and it no longer has the support that it used to and off it goes another pillow you gotta to toss this one I've washed it a couple of times so far very good so I'm telling you guys this Max Z pillow is really really good I recommend it um, and again just like the last review I did for the air purifier which I still use I will not review something that I don't like now the company is telling me that they are sending me their bamboo pillows as well to review so I'm looking forward to that because I hear that bamboo is very very good it's a natural fiber um, to sleep on so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that so anyway that was my review on the max Z pillow I made it short and sweet um, put the link down below these are luxury hotel collections they have them in all sizes really really like it I recommend this pillow I give it an A plus I've been sleeping well I'm still tired because of what I do but I'm sleeping good and I haven't had shoulder and neck pain for a long time since I've been using this pillow so it's got my stamp of approval you guys thank you for spending the time uh, listening to my rambling about a random pillow <laughs> I never heard of them before uh, they very good it very much feels like a hotel pillow so my advice to you check it out I'll talk to you later thanks for watching bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.